Happy Pride, everyone! <laughs> hey guys, my name is Diego Mariscal, and I know I'm like a month late when it comes to celebrating Pride Month, but I was looking on the new YouTuber called Troy Sivan last week, and he actually came up through his YouTube channel. One thing that really resonated with me is that he talked about how much other YouTube coming out stories had helped him. And I was like, hmm, that's interesting, but I've never actually seen someone with a disability coming out. So I thought I would be the first and basically share my story with you guys. So I started noticing that I was different when I was pretty much in preschool. Um, kids started running around and playing with cars and I would much rather play with dolls and kind of treat stickers and all that fun stuff. At the beginning I thought that it was because because of my disability, because I physically couldn't run or whatever as the other kids were doing, right? Um, and I think as a result I became more sensitive and more in touch with my feelings and I was always a little bit more mature, right? I remember one time when a friend came to me and started talking to me about watching porn and how exciting it was for him. And so he sparked a curiosity on me, I guess. And I remember I ran back to the house and the first I was obsessed with Hillary Duff at the time. And the first thing that I typed was Hillary Duff naked. And so I started looking at different sites. And I always was a little bit confused because I said, well, how am I going to perform that, you know, physical action that requires um, a certain level of physical strength or whatever, or physical movement, am I going to be able to do that? And so I started looking at the other guys and seeing, you know, I wouldn't be able to do that, I wouldn't be able to perform like that. And I think that's when kind of the attraction start moving from the, from just admiration to I started I was struggling and I remember looking at gay porn and my parents found out because at the time I didn't know how to erase the browser and my parents were like what's going on this is crazy like what why would you do this and I didn't even know at the time so I ended up going to a shrink and it was just all mess and crazy um, but at the time I was at the time I was having these struggles. I met this guy at a charity event, um, and he was also going through similar struggles. So we became really compatible, and we dated for like a year and a half or something. Um, and I remember it was our one year anniversary, and so I I'm very corny, so I did a video for him on YouTube about our one year anniversary. And um, I remember we were driving home, me and my mom were driving home in our car and my mom stopped and said, you know, what is this video of you and Charles? And I said, mm, well it's pretty, pretty self-explanatory, isn't it? And so she said, I can't believe you're doing this to me and your dad, like, why are you, like, this is unacceptable. And my response was, my literal response was, you know, I'm not doing anything to you. It hurts. It makes me feel bad that my actions are hurting you. But that's, but, but that's your issue. I'm not going to live my life differently just because you have an issue with me being queer. And so I. My mom was very surprised with my answer. And now that I see it in retrospective, I'm very surprised with my answer. I thought it was very mature and very realistic for my age. Um, and so yeah, so that's how I came out. My parents don't really talk about it. They don't really discuss it with me. Um, but you know, it's something that they, re it's something that I know that they're not comfortable with but at least they respect it, which is more than I can ask for. Um, so yeah, and I think, but the interesting thing for me is, I think I always had like a positive um, coming out experience because 
I've always been judged due to my disability. People have always looked at me differently and treated me differently. And I think that it doesn't really matter for me that people look at me differently or treat me differently because of my sexual orientation. I have, so I think at, at a certain level, my disability gave me strength to be okay with, um, with being queer. <laughs> Something that really boggles my mind is, is my dis did my disability influence me to become queer, or are they just two separate entities that just happen to coincide and kind of nurture one another? Let me know what you think in the comments, and I'll see you next week. Bye!